I will sell your house in 60 days guaranteed or I'll buy it myself. How's it going everyone? Matt Layton, welcome back to another real estate video. Hey, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the guaranteed sales programs out there. In my marketplace of Washington, DC, lots of agents out there are guaranteeing that properties will sell or they'll buy it themselves. They're using some sort of guarantee. So in this video, what I want to do is pull back the curtain and tell you what's really going on with these guarantees. So let's dive into this topic right now. So the guarantee programs have been around for quite some time. It might have been ERA real estate or maybe Craig Proctor coaching systems that originally came up with the guaranteed home sales programs. And it goes something like this. An agent will say that they can sell your house in 60 days or they're going to buy it themselves. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, the agent is going to be the one that comes up with the listing price. Well, agents, you know, come up with listing prices usually. So why is this a big deal? Well, usually it's going to be significantly below the market value, maybe five to 10% below the market value. So if your house is worth $500,000, you're going to be starting the listing at 475. If your house is worth $300,000, you're going to be starting your listing at 285. So you're already taking a significant discount before it's even on the market. Staging the property is of course necessary, uh, paid for of course by the seller. Oh, and you're also gonna have to do consistent price reductions every two weeks until the property is sold. And oh yeah, those home improvements that you were thinking about making, you know, the, the costly ones. Yeah, you're gonna have to agree to do those as well. And there's usually countless other mandatory clauses that you're gonna have to agree to if you wanna move forward with one of these guaranteed sales programs. It turns out that nearly 100% of the leads generated by real estate agents from these guaranteed programs never actually move forward with the guarantee due to these terms and conditions. So that being said, what does end up happening? Well, as you can imagine, these shady promotions generate a lot of interest for these real estate agents. If you're going to tell a seller that you can sell their house in 30 days or less, or you know, you're going to sell it in 60 days, or your commission is free, well, that's gonna generate a lot of interest and these real estate agents are gonna be talking to a lot of motivated sellers on the phone. So you can probably guess what happens next. If the agent is halfway decent or maybe the agent has a team of an inside sales staff that fields these calls, well, the goal is to set those appointments and they're probably gonna do a lot of business, but the guarantee is set up so that the guarantee is never actually used in the first place because no property is gonna qualify because of those lengthy terms and conditions. Now listen, the strategy, it's just a gimmick, right? It's just a shady, sketchy marketing, kind of feels like a used car salesman. It kind of feels like an infomercial actually, where they're flashing all these like deals that you're gonna get. But of course, you know, you don't read that, that fine print there at, at the very bottom. I don't feel like it's a bait and switch because with any sort of deal or discount, there's always gonna be strings attached, but you better believe that there are tons of strings attached to this guarantee. I think the guarantee should be called like, I will sell your house for under market value. I guarantee it. Because if you think about if it would actually be triggered, let's say the house is $500,000. Well, you're gonna be listing your house for 5% less than that. So you're at 95% of the house's value. And maybe you're gonna drop the price twice and through the 60 days that it's on the market, you drop it another 10%. And then this might trigger the real estate agent buying it guaranteed. And of course that real estate agent's not gonna be paying any real estate commission. So that's another 10%. So now we're down to 25% off. So on a $500,000 house, what that essentially means is that the agent's gonna guarantee that they're gonna buy it for $375,000. Who would ever do that? After reading the terms and conditions, no savvy consumer would ever agree to such ridiculous terms and conditions. It's kind of like the CarMax of real estate. Yeah, I can drive my used car down to the lot and you know maybe get a couple thousand dollars for it, but there are so many better alternatives out there. If you're gonna go this route, you might as well just try selling it on your own as a for sale by owner, or you might as well call one of those companies that can sell your home quickly in seven days for an all cash purchase because there are so many terms and conditions that are never going to be disclosed to you until you finally get that person in, the, in your living room. And then you're going to figure out that this was never a viable alternative in the first place. So with these guaranteed sales programs, think about the agent that you want to represent you and your home and your family. Think about your own ethics and your well-being. How do you want 
your home to be seen? Do you want it to be represented by an agent that offers gimmicks that aren't realistic? Or do you want an agent that represents on value? Because the whole point of the guarantee is set up not to do the guarantee. The whole point is to pivot to a standard listing agreement. And there's a lot of agents out there, and maybe some good ones that are doing the guarantee, but I guarantee you that these agents, they're not buying the houses themselves. They're not selling houses for free. That just doesn't happen. The terms and conditions are set up uh, not in your best interest. The terms and conditions are set up where you don't want to do that, but since you already have this relationship with that agent, that you want to move forward with them on a standard agreement. So guys, that is the behind the scenes on these guaranteed sales programs out there. I'm wondering, I mean, have you ever come across this? Have you seen this marketing? How does it rub you? Have you ever had an agent make an offer themselves on your property? I'm curious, let me know in the comment section below your experience on these types of sales promotions. Would love to, uh, love to hear your feedback on it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.